So what do we say? That the ammonium nitrate decomposes to form nitrogen one oxide and steam. Nitrogen one oxide is the gas that we are interested in. What else do we want to say? Now we are learning something that when the gas is inhaled, it causes insensitivity. And that is why it is used as an anesthesia, especially in dental surgery. So that when the doctor is working on the tooth, then you are not sensitive. And so the, for that reason, there is no pain. However, it has a side effect of making patients laugh uncontrollably. And that is why it is called the laughing gas. That is why it got the name the laughing gas. Let us look at physical properties of nitrogen one oxide. One, it is colorless. The gas is colorless. Two, it has a pleasant smell. Um, it is soluble in cold water, but slightly soluble in warm water. So it is preferred that you collect it over warm water since it is quite or fairly soluble in cold water. Then the other thing is that it rekindles a glowing splint. It rekindles a glowing splint. So what I want you to remember is that there is another gas whose um, confirmatory test is that it rekindles a glowing splint and that is oxygen. So we need to know how, if we have the two gases, how we can be able to differentiate the two because if you have the two gases in test tubes and then to the mouth of each of them you bring in a glowing splint for both of them it will rekindle so how would you be able to differentiate the two gases so i want for that reason